Hello, my name is John. I work for Robert White Photographic and today I'll be showing you the range of Quantum Turbo batteries. The first of the batteries I'm going to show you today is the Quantum Turbo 2x2. Um, this is based upon the original turbo, but instead of the original turbo it has two power output sockets instead of one. Now this particular battery uh, is a high voltage unit. Um, works very well with many SB flash guns from Nikon, Canon. You can also use some of the hammerhead flash guns that METS do with it with the appropriate cable. Uh, quantum specifications for something like this is they will it will give uh, on a something like an SB 800, 900, or a Canon 580 gun a full power recharge of a second. It will also let you uh, take about 700 full power shots on one single solitary charge. Um, so you get, you know, for an entire job, you could very easily uh, use the one battery. You can also trickle charge them if they need to. The advantage of the Turbo 2x2 is because it has two power output sockets, you can only fire a flash gun. You can either fire two, or you can use it to power a camera as well. One of the other benefits is that with two sockets, you can buy an additional charger to the one it comes with and recharge it with the two chargers at the same time, which will half its, its time. So effectively, if you are in a bit of a rush, you can fast charge it, um, which you cannot do with any of the other batteries. All of the batteries have a gauge on here and uh, very, very simple, elegant design. Battery, uh, a, a belt clip on here as well and also you can actually clip it to uh, you know with a, with a strap as well. Um, the tur regular turbo battery which I haven't got here to show us today is pretty much identical in size. It will also offer a one second full power recharge on the SB flash unit. Um, will offer about 500 full power uh, shots with an SB speed light Hotchie mounted gun as opposed to the Turbo 2 2x2 two offering 700, um, but effectively we can be used in a similar way. If you do go for the original Turbo and you want to fire two flash guns from it, it does only have the one port, but you can buy a splitter cable, so that will enable you to fire two units or a camera and a flash gun at the same time. Uh, one of the other, the other units I was going to show you for quickly, we have a Turbo compact. Now the idea of the turbo compact was it would fit underneath uh, a camera bottom and you have a simple mechanism on here. You turn, it goes into the screw thread of the camera and just put it into position. Now this unit will also allow you to fire uh, flash guns or power flash guns um, as well as powering the uh, camera itself. It uses a high voltage output for the flash guns, same as the turbo, other turbo range of cameras, um, but it has a low voltage uh, circuit here, which you can get cables to power the camera if you need to. Now, this slim unit, slightly slower to recharge from full power, again, quoting speed light type guns, it's about 1.4 seconds um, for a full power blast recharge. It will do 400 full power flashes, um, whereas the other ones have a greater capacity, but it's a much smaller unit, and as you can see, it can mount underneath the body of the camera, which can be advantageous. Um, the last unit I want to show you is the latest, which is a Turbo Slim Compact. And this tiny, tiny little unit can fit into a shirt pocket. It does have a belt clip on here as well has one power out port here and again this unit cannot fire f uh, cannot power cameras it is only a flash gun unit itself still gives you 400 flashes on full power with a speed light uh, and again 1.4 second uh, full power recharge so again if you're doing weddings um, anything like that where you want to you may rely on a lot of flash power it will deliver that on the day you can also trickle charges just like the rest of the other batteries um, the only thing with any of these batteries which is bad for them is to leave them without any charge for a period of time it's very difficult to uh, destroy the cells on these particular batteries if you shoot a job and you've got half a battery left, you know you've got a big event the next day, you can go home, 
recharge it. You don't have to flatten it completely. So it's a very intelligent uh, flash system. One thing I would like to show you very quickly is something that people do get confused with. If you're going to use a turbo battery with a gun such as a, uh, this is an SB900, uh, on, on the guns themselves they always have a auxiliary port. Now on the Nikon gun, I'll take this off here, it's on the front, and the cables you use, now I have a couple here, this particular one is a, a small cable which is designed for the Quantum Compta Turbo Compact because as you can imagine you only want a short lead if it is attached to the camera but the more traditional lead is the standard and this, in this case for the, for the Nikon it's called a CKE and you can see from there that the, the, the unit it just fits in it will only go in one way this is where it goes in there and on the turbo unit itself you've got a small nip in here and you need to make sure it goes in so you don't bend any pins. One crucial thing with, with these units is that this is developing, this is feeding the flash circuitry with power. You still need in the battery chamber AA batteries. This is purely to run the electronic side of the flash gun, the operational side. It won't draw the flash power from there. So these batteries will last a good deal of time just going to run the electronics of the camera, the flash power will be delivered from the uh, quantum flash itself. So a very neat, very well made system. Batteries will last many, many years of hard use. Uh, very simple, very straightforward. I hope this has been very useful for you. Uh, for any more information, please contact us either via email or you can look at our website, which is www.robertwhite.co.uk. Thank you.